All right, Brad, 2017 January training program. Here we go. So you're going to love this one. <laughs> Five training days a week. All right. You're going to repeat uh, leg day twice a week and you're going to alternate with three upper training days. So the way they will be uh, divided is that each day <clears throat> you will have three supersets. A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So the first superset we're gonna work more the fast twitch muscle fibers. Six repetitions, five sets of six. What I will ask you to do is to do two to three warm-up sets to make sure that your body is ready for the heavier weights. This way, we're gonna be able to work on more the fast twitch muscle fibers. And also, the great thing about that is we're gonna improve muscle synchronicity, intra-coordination within the muscles, so better muscle activation from the nervous system, and better inter-coordination between, between different muscles to be able to lift as much weight as you can. So once we're done with that, then we go to superset number two, B1, B2. More of an hypertrophy in nature type of work, four sets of 10 repetitions. Now the goal, hey, since everything is awakened from the first superset, smash it hard. Smash it hard, and, and the reason why I say that is because now that you have awakened your nervous system, hypertrophy potentiation is much higher. So let's benefit from that. And the third set, C, or third superset, I should say, C1, C2, then we go into hypertrophy endurance. So more intermediate to slow twitch muscle fibers. And the key there is to bring as much blood flow as possible into your muscles, bring as much nutrients as possible as well. It has a tremendous impact on metabolic function, increasing your, your metabolism. And on set number three for the C1, C2 superset, you'll do the following. 16 repetitions. Once you're done, you're gonna drop the weight by 20%, smash eight repetitions. Once you're done, drop the weight by another 20%, go for eight repetition. It's gonna be a nice way to finish your to finish your workouts. So your training days will be done that way. Now you have extra calf work as well on day number one, day number four, at the very end, at the very bottom of your training program. And on that day, well, on those days, it's gonna be calf work three sets of each exercise except the last one which will be one set of 50 reps and the goal is just to smash the calf hearts <laughs> you're gonna love it all right uh, cardio the way we're gonna go about cardio uh, one steady state workout a week two interval training workouts a week uh, they're gonna be fun uh, one will be in the gym another one will be outside I prepared a little something for you uh, if you have a hill um, a hill uh, specifically, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna like that one. So you'll be able to see those in your in your workout. I want to pay attention with the steady state work, where it's gonna be 30 minutes, can be done any time of the day. What we want to make sure is that in terms of the rate of perceived exertion, how hard it will be, out of 10, 10 is oh my god, so excruciating. You want to be around a six or seven, so we can treat it as more of a active recovery day. Abdominal exercise, four different type of exercises, and you choose one a day, uh, targeting different uh, abdominal muscle fiber to increase uh, difficulty. You can either increase the number of sets, number of reps, diminish rest time between sets, and increase the weight. So, man, it's gonna be fun, and uh, let's uh, let's rock and roll.